Hello friends, I am Gunnar Madhivanan, Current Affairs Faculty from Office of the IIS Academy. In this video, we will be discussing our 161st Current Affairs at List topic that is regarding NPOP, National Program for Organic Products. Friends, we all know about organic farming. It's a farming methodology which will not use chemicals at all. So why we are going and adopting organic farming? Because too much of chemicals is actually eating the fertility of the soil. So there is a call all over the world to go for organic farming. In India, we have 150 million hectares of cultivable land area of which around 3.6 million hectares of land area is devoted for organic farming. In terms of the land cultivable land devoted for organic farming we are positioned in 8th uh, level I mean we are uh, I mean we have secured the 8th position in terms of land devoted for organic farming we are in first position in terms of number of people uh, who are I mean, number of farmers who are doing organic farming in that number we are standing first in terms of land devoted it is we are in 8th position so in India, it is Madhya Pradesh where a lot of land is devoted for organic farming and it is Madhya Pradesh which produces more amount of organic products. Indian organic products has a great market abroad. So almost 4500 crores, almost 4500 crores worth export revenue we are able to yield through this organic farming. Now NPOP. National Program for Organic Products, Ministry of Commerce and Industries, under which we have APEDA, APEDA, Agriculture and Processed Product Export Development Authority, which is implementing a program called as National Program for Organic Products. So this pro organic program is prescribing proper standards to be followed by farmers while producing organic products okay so when they follow those standards they will be given some certification they will be given some certification so this npop it is uh, in association with various third party agencies various third party agencies various institutions npop is signing some mous and those third parties will come and verify now let us say I am Guna, a farmer from Ratanagiri district, Ratanagiri district who is growing organic Alfonsa mangoes. If I want to export, if I want to export, if I want to export, I have to get this certification. The certification is mandatory friends. NPOP certification is mandatory. If I have to export, then I will pay some fee. I will ask this third party to visit my field and my mangoes. And if I follow this NPOP standard, they will give me certification. Once they give me certification, I am eligible to export my products or else I cannot export. I can sell domestically, but I cannot export. If I have to export, I have to follow these standards. Right? There is another program called as Participatory Guarantee System. So, Ministry of Agriculture under which we have an agency called as National Center for uh, organic farming they implement a program called as participatory guarantee system so under this let us take a village a village might have more number of farmers some farmers might be growing uh, through organic method some farmers may use chemical method now the farmers who are growing through organic method they can form as a group and they can peer review they can review among themselves whether they are following the methods or not and they can certify themselves under this participatory guarantee system right now if you want to export if you want to export then you have to get npop certification if you want to simply sell in domestic I mean market then you can go for this pga certification you can go for this PJ certification okay even without the certification people are selling but however however just imagine you are going to a shop one shop is saying organic mangoes 
another shop is saying a PGS certified organic mangoes then you will go for this that earns some credibility it gives you some confidence right in that way PGS will be helpful but PGS is not sufficient for exports NPOP is required for exports so I have given you a brief idea about uh, NPOP and PGS I have given some additional information regarding organic farming some data what quantity I mean what product we are exporting importing NPOP PGS also I have given difference between NPOP PGS also I have given right you kindly go through and based on our discussion I have given an MCQ find out the right answer and give it in the comment section you can download the presentation and you can go through it some additional value I have given it will be useful for you right from mains point of view also right so find out the right answer and give it in the comment section here I have given the features of my MCQ booklet which covers MCQs from December 2020 to April 2021 another booklet covers from June 2020 to November 2020 if you are interested you can buy by clicking the link given in the description box here I have given the features of my exclusive current affairs program if you are interested you can again buy by clicking the link given in the description box any doubt you can call to the number given here right right friends I will see you tomorrow with another important exciting interesting video till then bye take care